there. Welcome to today's lesson. Our lesson for the day is on data presentation. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define mean, median, and mode, and determine the mean, median, and mode of a given data set. Are you ready? Let's begin. I bet you can all recall our previous lesson on data collection, where we discussed in detail what data is, how to collect it, and even how to record them. In this lesson, we shall still be talking about data, but this time, you will learn how to present data using simple mathematical techniques to describe them. Data presentation is the process of using mathematical and graphical formats to visually represent the relationship between a set of data. To visually present a set of data, we first need to describe and summarize them in an organized way using certain mathematical tools, the most important of which include mean, median, and mode. Now kids, let's take a look at them one after the other. One, mean. The mean is useful in describing and presenting data because it is used to determine the mathematical average of a data set. To calculate the mean, the sum of all data values is divided by the number of data values. For example, if you have a data set of the scores of seven students in an English test as 9, 4, 6, 10, 4, 8, and 6, and you would like to know the mean of the scores, all you would have to do is 1. Add all the numbers together, which is 9, plus 4, plus 6, plus 10, plus 4, plus 8, plus 6, and it would equal to 47. Then you divide the value you get by the number of individual numbers, which is, in this case, 7. Therefore, to get the mean, you would calculate 47 divided by 7, which would give you the value of 6.7. We can now say that our mean is 6.7. What this means is that the average score of the students that wrote the English test is 6.7. The next mathematical tool for data description and presentation we will discuss is median. The median is the middle element of a data set arranged in a given order which could either be ascending or descending. To calculate the median of a data set, we simply arrange the data set in either ascending or descending order and then pick the middle element. If it is an odd number of data sets with only one element in the middle, or calculate the mean of both elements in the middle if it has an even number of data sets with two elements in the middle. For example, if you have a data set of the scores of seven students in an English test as 9, 4, 6, 10, 4, 8, and 6. And you would like to know the median of the scores. All you would have to do is 1. Arrange the scores in either ascending or descending order. Let's choose ascending order for this example. This would have us arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest, like this. 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Then we would look at the arranged numbers and pick the elements in the middle, which, if you check, is the value 6. Therefore, we can say that the median is 6. Don't you think finding the median of a distribution is easy? Well, not so fast. Have you thought about calculating the median in an instance where the number of individual data in a data set is even and there can't be one element in the middle? Well, in instances like that, we calculate the average of the two numbers in the middle, which then would serve as the median. For example, if you have a data set of the scores of six students in an English test as 9, 6, 10, 4, 8, and 6. To calculate the median, you should 1. Arrange the scores in either ascending or descending order. 
let's choose descending order for this example, which would have us arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest, like this. 10, 9, 8, 6, 6, and 4. Then we would look at the arranged data set and pick the elements in the middle. Looking at what we have, we can't come up with one element correctly in the middle, but we have two, which if you look carefully would be 8 and 6. Having picked out the two elements in the middle, and knowing two elements cannot be the median, we then have to calculate the average of the two numbers to get our median. Therefore, we sum 8 plus 6, which equals 14, and then divide it by 2, making our correct median 7. And that is the second way of calculating the median for a data set with an even data number. The last mathematical tool for data description and presentation we'll discuss is mode. The mode is simply the number that appears most often within a data set. You can find it easily by counting the times each individual number occurs in the data set. For example, if you have a data set of the scores of seven students in an English test as 9, 4, 6, 10, 4, 8, and 4, to find the mode, you simply do this. One, look at the whole data set carefully. Count the number of times each individual data appears. For instance, in this case, you can see that 4 is the highest occurring number as it appears three times, while the rest of the numbers only appear once. Therefore, we can say that the mode of the data set is 4. Note that a data set can have more than one mode. And with that, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Today, we learned about the definition and how to calculate the mathematical tools like mean, median, and mode used to describe and present data. Did you learn something new? Well, see you in the next lesson.